Kids can't learn if they don't feel safe. Period, end of story. All the big goals, the getting the reading scores up, the math scores up, the high school graduation rates, the college graduation rates, none of them can be achieved if we do not create the right climate in our schools, which is frankly why the work you're doing is so important. Without that, nothing else happens. When you ask students themselves what we call incivil behavior, bullying, name-calling, harassment, social isolation, is twice as likely to cause school avoidance behaviors, skipping school, skipping classes, avoiding certain areas in the school, not signing up for certain classes or activities, than is the more spectacular violent crimes that end up on CNN every night. Let's start at the bottom, the foundation. A safe school is one where every child feels physically and emotionally safe. Of course we don't want guns in or near our schools. Of course we don't want drugs in or near our schools, but I'm sorry folks, that's a pretty low bar. That had better be the basement of our new building. Then we need to move on to emotional safety. If a child is sitting in my US history class and they are worrying, how am I gonna get from history to English safely between this period and next period? I can promise you they are not thinking about history and they are not thinking about English. Therefore, they are not learning. Physical and emotional safety have to be the basis, but they in and of themselves are not enough. In a truly safe school, every kid feels like they are valued. They feel like somebody cares about them, and that they are a person of worth, and they feel like they belong in that school. In a school where a kid feels like they belong, where they feel like people care about them, where they feel physically and emotionally secure enough to not be afraid to come to school and to focus on learning, they achieve. We need clear standards around school climate in the same way we have standards around reading and math, and we need to measure them and hold schools accountable for making progress on them in the same way we do reading and math. And we have to be just as rigorous about measuring it and holding people accountable for improving it as we do reading and math. If we get this system in place, school climate will go to where it belongs, which is the top of the list of things we need to worry about. So. I guarantee you that if I had my school climate scores right now, I would be able to take the list of 2,500 high schools that generate the dropouts, and I would find that the 2,500 worst climates are the same schools. Now, you know this, because the work you're doing every day teaches young people they have value, helps them feel like they belong, and helps create an environment where they feel safe enough to learn. Your strategic goals are our strategic goals. We have a problem in our nation. We at CEP, every person in this room, knows from years of experience that intentional, quality, comprehensive character education takes schools to the end state that you and our president and our secretary want. Please include character education in your strategies to improve our nation's schools. And thank you for what you do.